where do you really want the reader to do when they're reading the book? Um, what other products and services that you might offer them to help them, you know, along their path. In fact, the reality is most of us authors, myself included, we earn more income and opportunity because we wrote the book than we ever will from book sales, regardless of how well the book sells. So always be thinking two products ahead, whether it's additional books or courses or a mastermind or keynote speeches, something, because on average, 20% of your audience is going to say yes to whatever you offer them because they want more access to you. And then from a publisher perspective, they want to see that you're engaged in your space. Um, from what I've been able to discover, even from, from us, even the bookstore buyers really today don't care whether you got 15,000 followers on Instagram or 1,500 followers on Instagram. They're looking at engagement. They want to see that an audience is actually paying attention to you as an author. And I don't think you need to be selling from social media. You just need to be establishing that you're the right person in the space. You educate, you encourage, you inspire and entertain. And then the rest of it is just your goals. You know, how you might publish, you've got options. You've got the traditional path if you can work within those parameters. And, and, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing for everybody. It's just for most entrepreneurs, there were some limitations that weren't really solvable. Uh, or it could be goal or it could be credibility or distribution. Or if you just want to have a great book to have at the back of the room, that's one thing. Or if you just have a legacy book that you definitely want to make sure that your family and grandkids have, you know, there's, there's paths to publishing. Finding out what's really important to you and what your goals are will be the, one of the best ways to start. And then even from there, how do you go further? How do you get picked up by one of those houses? Or how do you choose which you know path to do? It's really about timing, budget, and again, the goals and the opportunities. Great way to find you know, a traditional house is to look at some of the favorite books that, that are maybe in the space that you want to write. Look at the acknowledgments, see what uh, agent they're complimenting or thanking for bringing the book together and go see if you can get on that, that agent's radar and see if they'll talk to you. It's a challenge today because most publishers want you to be able to already be at a platform where you can sell 300,000 copies of your book, but it's a great, great way to start. And on, the, on like the hybrid side or some something different than just going to Kinko's and publishing it yourself is, um, you know, if you're getting engaged with a hybrid type publisher, make sure you fully understand who's doing what, because there's a lot of hybrids out there now. And, and they, they are, some of them are really, really good. They have services that they offer. They deliver, deliver, definitely deliver value in what they do. But most of the authors are funding everything and they're just producing a book and you're paying for everything. And that may be OK. Uh, or there's houses like us that have like the, uh, even more of a blend where we, you know, we have some skin in the game. We print all the books that are re required for distribution. We work really closely with the authors on the marketing side. We also invest in consumer direct marketing to support because uh, from a guerrilla marketing perspective, uh, people need to see you four times before they even think they've seen you before to as many as 27 times before they're decided to make a decision point. So all of us doing everything at once is really required. Yes. <laughs> and then on the true self-publisher side, you could get an assisted self-publisher who could just help you produce a book and upload it to you know Amazon or, or again, you go to Kinko's and print books and sell them out of your garage. All have tremendous value. You just need to figure out what might be right for you and also the audience that you're trying to support. Right. And that's key because I can even speak for myself. I was going through this swirl of what do I do? What do I do? Because I hadn't yet done what you just suggested, which is I knew my purpose for writing the book, but I didn't fully have that whole goal alignment of, okay, what does that do with the rest of my organization and the way that I desire to take other things to market, such as courseworks or retreats? We hadn't really looked at the whole spectrum. So once we had that conversation and I really looked at the long haul of the purpose, not just the purpose of the book, but the purpose of how it fits into the scheme of everything we had in motion, then I could make the appropriate decision for the publisher that aligned best for mm -hmm. that mission. Yeah. And yeah. as new authors, or even if you've published a book or two, it's so, so important, I feel, to do that now. And I'm a big fan of putting all your best stuff in a book. Give it all away, all of your secrets away. The book needs to serve the reader 100%. Now, you might be thinking, well, I've got a $1,000 course I want to sell after the book, or I've got this $10,000 program I want them to buy after the book, which again, in a perfect world, will serve them correctly, help them realize their goals, but they may want to have some help. There's a percentage that are going to still say yes, a large enough percentage that it's worth it. And one thing, one challenge you might have is if you hold something back and then they engage with you and then you start revealing more, there's a distrust. 
they feel like you're always hiding something from them, or they feel like you're always trying to sell them something that they didn't know they need when you should really just lay it all out at, at the one, at the one point. Um, the voice needs to be you. It needs to be exactly the way you speak on stage, the way you speak on the telephone and the, the value needs to be the same. It needs to be very, you know, straightforward. Um, but yeah, give it all the way in the book. Like Jeff Walker, we did, we had number one New York times with Jeff Walker's book launch and others, of course, but you know, you could take that book and you could do exactly what he says. And, and a number of the authors, exactly what they're doing and do it extremely successful. But most of us won't, <laughs> we're busy. So they may have a little do it for you or do it with you kind of opportunity, which is great. And that's real value for both of you. 